So yesterday we started off this topic and we'll be continuing with it. Uh, there are so many aspects to be done in this topic. Yesterday we did like, uh, what, how do we transform the sentence there by using two? One for revision, one sentence I'm giving you, please do it. Uh, this statement is too absurd to believe. If I say transform into, transform the sentence into negative sentence, then what will you do? What, what will you do to transform the sentence into negative? Yes, Mr. give the answer. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Uh, ma'am, this statement. Hmm. This statement is so absurd that I can't believe. Uh, yes, the statement is so absurd that it can't be believed. Okay. So the second part will become it is so absurd that it can't be believed so mind it it is going to become passive here okay that it can't be believed or it can also be it is so absurd that we cannot believe it that also you can write <coughs> okay now next sentence <coughs> sorry Uh, this is the tallest building in this city. Now make it negative. Turn this sentence into negative sentence without changing the meaning. Yesterday we were doing degrees of comparison. Okay, here tall, taller, and tallest. These are the degrees of tall. And here tallest has been used. Now, if we want to change this sentence into negative without changing the meaning, uh, what shall we do? And uh, we have an option, I'm giving you a clue. I guess Kushi knows the answer. We have a clue that we have to change the degree uh, this is the superlative degree is given. We can change it into comparative or positive degree. Then this uh, statement might become negative, but you'll have to do some other changes also. <clears throat> okay, Kushi, let others also apply mind, then I'll ask you. <clears throat> yes. Yes, those who have done, they can raise hand. You are to make this sentence negative, remember? Yes. Yes, uh, Kushi, yes. Give the answer. Ma'am, there is no other building taller than this one in this city. Uh, please repeat. There was some network issue, I guess. Repeat. There is no other building taller than this one in this city. There is no other building taller than this one in the city. Yeah, that is also correct. So there is uh, no other building is taller than this one in the city. Okay. No other building <clears throat> is taller than this one in the city. There is one more option. Can anyone tell? Yes, Kritika.
Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Yeah, good afternoon. Ma'am, is it not a tallest building in this city? Repeat, please. Is it not a tallest building in this city? Is it not the tallest building in the city? Uh, but we have to... That might not be that correct. Is it not? It has become interrogative also then. We have to keep in mind just one thing. If we are asked to change this into uh, negative, then negative only. Okay, Tanushka. Um, good afternoon, ma'am. Ma'am, the answer is no other building as tall as this one in yeah. the city. Yeah, yeah. No other building is as tall as this building in the city. So now we have used, uh, used positive degree and there we were using comparative and here we are using superlative. So all the degrees have been used, but the meaning of all these sentences is same. Okay, in all the cases, we want to say only this thing that this is a tallest building. Meaning is same in all the cases. No other building is as tall as this one. No other building is taller than this one. This is the tallest building in the city. Is that clear? <clears throat> okay, now next sentence is, only the best player deserves to win. Only the best player deserves to win. Only the best player deserves to win. Got it? You are to make it <clears throat> again negative. Change this into negative sentence. Raise hand if you know the answer. Otherwise, I will ask anyone. No need to raise hand. Japjot will give answer. Japjot. Jap Jot, Pushkar is not even joined properly. Parth, 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 yes, Imani. Imani is yes. yes, ma'am. Hmm. Ma'am, no other player is as deserving as this one. What about the uh, degree of best? The good, better, best. Those are the forms. Good, better, best. The question is only the best player deserves to win. Yes. I am only telling you to change into negative. I'm not telling you to yes one thing more. If I'm not telling you to focus only by at the best, but these words should be there. One thing is when you are not focusing at the degree, then the point is none, but the best deserves to win. One option is none, but the best deserves to win. Okay, here we did not change the degree. None, but the best deserves to win. But if you're asked to change the best 
then do you have any other option yes any other option with the with the best come on mam i don't know okay others i i am asking others you can mute yourself yes anyone else <clears throat> okay now the next sentence is it's okay the next sentence is as soon as the dog saw a stranger it started barking mind it we are doing transformation of sentences as soon as a dog as soon as the dog saw him it started barking change this into negative again change into negative yes we have already done this kind of sentences we will change yes khushi ma'am no longer did the dog saw him it started barking uh no longer instead of longer can you suggest something else as soon as will change into no no sooner now it has become comparative degree here no sooner did the dog see the see him then it started barking so mind it no sooner comparative degree has come so than will also come here so no sooner did the dog see him see because here did is there so no sooner did the dog see him than it started barking meaning is same of these two sentences if i say as soon as a dog saw him it started barking or no sooner did the dog see him than it started barking same meaning is that clear yes now next sentence is of similar kind as soon as it starts as soon as it starts getting warmer i feel comfortable as soon as it starts getting warmer i feel comfortable so change this again into negative sentence now i will ask anyone because it's a revision of the previous sentence as soon as it starts getting warmer i feel comfortable okay now ankita will give answer ankita okay uh, then this janvi give answer harshdeep give answer kritika please keep noting the names of the porters harshdeep raise hand Ankita, yes. Ankita. Uh, 
हर्षदीप गुड मॉर्निंग मैम यस गुड मॉर्निंग हर्षदीप गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गिव द आंसर मैम एज सूनर we are to change this sentence into negative as soon as it starts getting warmer i feel comfortable ma'am as sooner hmm as sooner where is the negativity then where is the negative part it will change into no sooner no sooner okay as it starts getting warmer no sooner does it no sooner does it start why start why not starts because s has come here no sooner does it yes, start yes no sooner does it start getting warmer than i feel comfortable so it's going to cook okay pure yourself okay any other uh, any okay now next sentence <clears throat> uh next sentence is she was doubtful whether he would call she was doubtful whether he would call you have to make that sentence again negative she was doubtful whether she was doubtful whether or if he would call make it negative without changing the meaning it's very simple one <clears throat> uh yes raise hands all of you those who know yes khushi prabhun well done let me ask keshav keshav raise hand hmm okay give answer <clears throat> yes keshav keshav yes speak up ramnur prabgun prabnur okay arshin yes prabnur prabnur yes unmute yourself she was uh, not sure if he would call yes correct answer she was not sure or she was uh, she was not sure if he would call so not has come she was not sure if he would come okay now next sentence is <clears throat> uh simple ones you you can all do it do them for example she is honest how to make it uh, negative she is not dishonest right the knife is sharp what will be the negative the knife is sharp what will be the negative of this without changing meaning divita the knife is sharp the knife is not blunt yeah correct the knife is not blunt so if i say the uh, he is a bright boy make it uh, negative without changing meaning he is a bright boy arman arman yes ma'am hmm he is not a bright boy sorry he is a bright boy make it negative he is not a uh... no he is what's the opposite of bright ma'am bright is intelligent right? yes so what is the opposite of bright dull dumb anything 
he's not dumb no he is not a dumb boy yeah he's not a dumb boy he's not dull okay he's not a dullard okay anything so next sentence children <clears throat> uh she is willing to go to the party she is willing to go to the party make it negative she is willing to go to the party make it negative again without changing the meaning when i say transform it means like change without changing meaning so she is willing to go to party negative make it negative yes tarundeep tarundeep yes ma'am ma'am she is not refusing to go to the party uh, refusal for willingness uh, it's okay not very bad but not very good also the point is if i had said like she is uh, ex- she has accepted to go to the party then you might have said like she is not refused the opposite would have come so it's okay not yes, very bad okay anything else she is not unwilling to go to the party yeah that is she is not unwilling that is okay she is not unwilling to go to party or she doesn't mind go to going she is okay she does not mind she doesn't mind going to the party okay or she is not unwilling to go to the party so okay okay next sentence children uh now you'll be changing uh, the negative sentence into affirmative okay she never speaks rudely she never speaks rudely she never speaks rudely so what will be the affirmative of this she always speaks politely she always speaks politely okay next sentence of the similar kind unless i leave early i will not catch the train unless i leave early i won't catch the train so make it negative sorry make it affirmative yes yes make it affirmative who will do do this nana will do this nana come on okay arshin's hands are hand is up yes arshin ma'am can it be i have to leave early to catch the train i have to leave early to catch the train yeah that is correct but one thing will happen over there if you say like uh, uh i'll have to reach early if uh, whatever you said that would make it a simple sentence right now it's not simple so anything with the same similar kind of sentence unless i leave early i won't catch the train so instead of using unless if you use if what will happen use if ravneet kaur ravneet kaur yeah Ma'am, uh, hmm if i want to catch the train i will have to leave early repeat please if i want to catch the train i will have to leave early yeah yes if i leave early i will catch the train 
okay if i leave early i'll catch the train instead of if if you use unless instead of unless use if to make it positive if i leave early i will re catch the train right so these are the things which you should know the point is not only about like how to transform the point is also about how to use unless and how to use if how to use no sooner and how to use as soon as right unless i leave early i won't catch the train unless means if i reach or if i leave early if i don't leave early okay so the point is this okay now next sentence is now you will be changing the sentence into interrogative is that fine change the given sentence into interrogative the example is it was a great experience it was a great experience make it uh, interrogative without changing meaning yes come on yes arshin give the answer yes ma'am mm hmm make an interrogative ma'am it can have two options uh, like was it a great experience or was it not a great experience uh better is wasn't it a great experience yes okay. when we say wasn't it wasn't it a great experience question mark so we have made it interrogative also and the meaning is also same okay it is rhetoric as per rhetoric when we use a question we mean positive don't you know me i mean that you know me okay okay do these things in your fair notebook only 